When we're all done with the school walkthrough, we like to sit down for a minute and organize the data we've collected. This typically includes the CO2 levels classroom by classroom, so we can summarize our findings for the principal. If the principal is available, we'll meet briefly, present the summary, highlighting both good and less than good findings, and answer any immediate questions that might crop up. Here are some examples of what might be included in our summary of recommendations. Fight moisture issues aggressively because they lead to mold, and mold leads to nothing but trouble. Send those household cleaning products we found under the classroom sinks home with the teachers who brought them to school, and draft a policy to keep it that way. Improve exhaust to control pollutants from large copiers and from laminators. Install or improve exhaust systems in shops and art rooms to control situations like you see here, where the suspended clay dust in this art room is easily visible in a sunbeam. Pay attention to floor covering maintenance. Problems with carpets are very common, mostly due to shortage of maintenance budgets required to maintain floor coverings to manufacturers' specifications. Remove the old couches, pillows, blankets, and other out-of-control, fleecy asthma trigger reservoirs. Emphasize to administrators the importance of immediate posting of all walkthrough results for staff with the contact info of someone who can answer any questions right away. Encourage administrators to start a fledgling formal indoor air quality program created around the good practices they already have in place, like the excellent filter change out record keeping in this school. Communicate all IAQ efforts to staff. In this school, every event linked to improving indoor air quality was listed chronologically in the staff room. And communicate outside of school, too. Let parents and community leaders know you're paying attention to indoor air quality before you have any issues. If indoor air quality issues do arise, any press articles would have to lead off with the fact that you have an ongoing program, a history of dealing proactively with potential indoor air quality problems. We offer certificates to hang in the school lobby, not saying you're a perfect school, but that you're aware and trying to do the right thing. Provide administrators and staff with methods for staying informed regarding indoor air quality issues, newsletters, websites, listservs, etc. We hope you enjoyed your virtual school walkthrough today and want to remind you of the five basic objectives of a healthy school. Keep it dry, clean, comfortable, control the pollutants we've discussed, and provide enough outside air ventilation year-round to keep things fresh. On behalf of my colleague Rich Prill, I'm Dave Blake. Thanks for watching.